Snake wasn't that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. Short fuse with the long clip. Think I'ma slip? You fucking with the wrong crib. End of the road, part of the journey. Get up off that gurney, gotta call the attorney. Time is money, mine kind of expensive. You can find me minding my business. Love blind, I see y'all hate me. Sleep with one eye open, heat off safety. Smoking medicated dope in my own lane. Sophisticated scope with the long aim. On one out here hitting corners. On us, better act like you know, cuz. I'm gonna function by myself. With number some stuffed inside my belt. Same old loke with a bit more money. So run me my dough and get demo dummy on me. How you feel when nigga call you a rat behind that commercial shit? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. If there was another commercial that I could shoot to tell people who were law-abiding citizens to call the police if crime is happening. In their area. And it would keep me from doing 10 years for some guns that I was using to protect myself. If I could make that video again in that same circumstance, I would do it time and time again. I ain't that gangster. I ain't that gangster. I'm not that gangster. I ain't finna tell on nobody. I ain't finna take no stand. I ain't wanna get nobody locked up. I ain't finna do nothing that gonna cause nobody no time. But how you feel when them New York nigga be like, man, that nigga tilt, man, all of those shit. Man, fuck I... that. We on the bullshit. You been drinking, I've been drinking. And fuck all that. They talk about the shit we talk about, nigga, we be sitting at the trap, trap museum and shit. I fuck that. I we don't count. Fuck I, it. I don't even know I don't know what you're talking about. I uh, said. How you feel when them New York niggas and shit like 50 and all them niggas be trying to do all that old? I, I'm going to tell you something. When you're fighting a man with no arms, expect to get kicked. <laughs> niggas do what they can. Niggas do what they can. Niggas go with whatever they can to hurt you. Whatever they feel will hurt you. What they don't know is... I don't give a fuck. I am at peace with myself. I know who I am. I know what I've done. I know what I haven't done. I ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. I walk around them motherfucker with my head up, with my chest out. I be by myself most of the time. I don't give a fuck about how nobody feel about me. If they really didn't like it, they would approach me with that anger and get met with equal opposite action. Oh, my mama, mama, y'all know I find that extremely funny. Don't get mad at me to the queerdos in the comments. My Google gang and a heavy quantity of submissions sent this clip to me, right? So I listened to it, I watched it. Shout out to Cuz, who doing the interview, because he tried. On oh, my mama, mama, he just ain't asking the right question. They not even asking Cuz the right questions, and he coming unglued like that. That nigga say, when you fight with somebody who ain't got no arms, you go get kicked. Cuz, that is the most, I, I, you know how he has had a history of articulating himself beyond the general graps of his audience to the point where it was deemed impressive for quite some time and then a lot of people have been taking him to task since then um trying to clown him for the overkill however it seems as if the sediment was he often tries to like uh uh mass bush it with multi-syllable words right but this time, Cud tried to go like, 
like he was going deep and saying something deep that was going all the crowd to go over heads and it really went under everybody's mind that shit was boo boo but this is what blows my mind that <laughs> like anybody that's at peace with themselves especially on any specific subject they would not find themselves in such a scenario where they seem so passionate about defending themselves against the claim I believe but dude asking him like he, he blame say we drank let's keep it real he like that nigga say let's talk like niggas talking to trap tip say I don't know nothing about that what you mean you don't know nothing about that trap museum you know niggas talk about this that's what I be trying to tell y'all this is the regular barbershop trap talk right so he say he ain't, he ain't never told no nobody took no stand till I'm blue in the face just so I can make sure I'm not crazy. I want to remind myself, y'all don't even have to listen. I watch dude sit on the stand on behalf of the prosecution. This is the question for the next interviewer that has the courage to question him on this subject. Ask him how is testifying, how is not, how is testifying on behalf of the prosecution in a murder trial for 45 minutes where the person that was on trial received 40 some years how is that not cooperating I don't get it who are you trying to trick tip us or y'all just remember remember I, used to know, I am not that gangster I am not that gangster don't that sound a little bit different than this I, I go with the G code and the G code tells us this is in prison and everything. You know what I'm saying? In prison, what they do, we have paperwork parties. You know what I'm saying? In prison, you have cars. A car is like whatever, whatever you running with. Cause I was in Fed Pen, so it's like everybody moved from everywhere. Everybody sent from everywhere. It ain't like just people from New York or just people from here. Why he talking so fast, cuz? Oh, Baba, Baba, Baba. But he heard it. I, I, I go by the G code. Just so anybody who ever was talking about yo G code. Don't nobody care about that the G-Code did. That's fine. I might even agree with you. I ain't the one putting the G-Code on cuz. This is cuz saying this is this is his bar. This is this is the bar he said for himself. This is what he says he makes his decisions according to. And the G-Code, there is no way. People keep saying, oh, he didn't point nobody out. I know you a cornball, ain't from the streets, never caught a case ever in your life if you think the only way you can be a rat is by pointing. Do you ever heard of something called CI's confidential informant? However, you don't even realize Cuz was far more of a open witness than a, a confidential informant. If his participation on behalf of the prosecution in the murder trial of Hosea Thomas did not go against his um, self-proclaimed character in the G-code that he claims to uphold, he would not have been so adamant and effective at, at getting the footage removed from the internet. Do y'all realize the same way y'all can go on the internet and watch me in the black box? There was a time you could go on YouTube and watch T.I. on the stand for 45 minutes telling everything that he knew that happened that night. Everything from the time he got to the scuffle at the club, went down the road, Van got sprayed once, Van got sprayed again. He talked about how he called, had to call Phil, rest in peace, daughter, call his mother. To all y'all who told him he didn't point nobody out, he didn't tell, listen to me. He gave that testimony on behalf of the DA to plug on the heartstrings of the jury. Do you know in this American justice system, way far more effective on a jury then evidence is a testimony of the best friend and a witness that sits and tell, and tell the jury a sad story of how he had to call this man's daughter and mother and claim that the bullets was meant for him. Do y'all understand the effect that has on the jury that eventually comes back and finds the shooter guilty? Yeah, we understand someone else pointed the shooter out. We understand somebody else put the shooter in the car. Guess what? When the DA is putting a case together, when it comes to witnesses, it's like a relay. That's why they have multiple. All, re all the witnesses, 
often don't see the same thing. Some of them saw this part. The other one saw this part. That's why they had each of them get up there and tell their story in succession to pay the complete picture for the jury. So, yes, there's somebody else that identified the shooter and placed him in the vehicle and said they saw the vehicle leave and go up the street. Then there was somebody in the vehicle confirming the occupant of the vehicle that allegedly had the weapon. Then, handing the baton to T.I., he is giving a perspective from inside the vehicle that was allegedly shot at, and that completes the whole picture for the jury. Not only did he say that and give you all the details of what was going on inside each van that he was in, because one got sprayed, according to him. His, another vehicle, his entourage, came up as they went to transfer and switch vans. They got sprayed again, according to him, on the stand. These are the things he said on behalf of the prosecution this is why it blows my mind this is it's like the modern day when they say beware false prophets he has been upheld in our community as a positive role model somebody that went from the struggle for the streets and come up into the entertainment game and being political and having an over under understanding of the immediate struggles that melanated people face in America and he's so articulate, he seems a perfect choice. However, when you're judging someone's integrity and character, you have to go by what you know about their firmness and their fortitude in times of adversity. And we already have seen a guy that claims to go by the G-Code. And anybody that don't over under understand what the G-Code says about being on the stand on behalf of the prosecution, helping them aiding them in achieving a guilty verdict for 45 minutes. What you know about this? Some people suggest, oh, some people get up there because they subpoena and they do it and they get up there and throw the loop on the um, DA. Throw them for, they, they surprise them on the stand. Guess what happens then? The DA says, object, object, objection. And then, from my experience, I know instant times when the DA is getting up there and interviewing the witness and the witness says uh, however just know in tip case there was not one objection from the DA he loved every 45 minutes of tips testimony but I know accounts when somebody got up on the stand and attempted to do just what you suggested say something other than what they said in that police room in the um, interrogation room and the account from a Another eyewitness in the courtroom, because I wasn't there. The DA said, after hearing what the witness attempted to say on the stand to throw him off, said, Your Honor, I'm surprised to hear this. I've spoken with this, this witness on multiple occasions, and this is the first time I ever heard this. May I have permission to play a tape? And he said, from that point on, the judge said, you have permission. He said, he pushed the tape. And the nigga on the stand just held his head down like this while the tape played. And it contradicted everything that he was trying to say in court. What y'all don't realize, a prosecutor is not going to allow you to get on the stand unless you've said something to them before trial that makes them think what you have to say on the stand is going to aid their case. And it's just crazy that this is how he feel. Sometimes you got to know when to tuck your tail and just slither away. Can't fool them all. You can't fool all the people all the time. T.I. Tip Tip. I just happen to see you on the stand and happen to know what that means when you perform on behalf of the prosecution in the murder trial. That means you threw the G code out. And you should be man enough to tell these kids the way that you were able to maintain your success and keep going from having your 10 years of your freedom taken from you and your millions that was at risk on bond, the way you saved them was by throwing the G-Code out the window. Don't try to convince these youth that you stuck to the G-Code and made it through that unscathed. That's unrealistic. And it's not true. Oh, my mama, mama. Keep it a Google, Tippy. G-Code. And the G-Code tells us this is in prison and everything. You know what I'm saying? In prison, what they do, we have paperwork parties. You know what I'm saying? In prison, you have cars. A car is like whatever whatever you running with. Because I was in Fed Pen, so it's like everybody moved from everywhere. Everybody sent from everywhere. It ain't like just people from New York or just people okay. from here and there. So 
the Georgia car, you know, the Georgia crew. When you get there, your crew come and make sure you have everything you need, you know what I'm saying? They speak to you and, and then, but, but, but you have to produce your paperwork so they will know. And I've seen people who go in there and show no telling and they got, the, and, 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 you know, they're like, yeah, and what? Well, they I, pay I, for I, that, though. I oh. rock and what you gonna do? You know, some of them make it and some of them don't. Or I've seen people say, hey, you know what, look, man, you got to go check in. When they say check in, I mean, you got to go turn yourself into the hole and say, man, I can't walk this compound or else it's not safe for me. I ain't never been in no, when I, when I got in trouble, they put me, they put me in said, but mm -hmm. I ain't never been in. Oh, my mama, mama tip. We ain't talking about the feds. We ain't talking about none of that. We know the reason why you only got the year. Yeah, you could present that paperwork and have not a blemish. You didn't tell on your case. Only time you have paperwork to present to clear your name is when it's on your case. You can't present Hosea Thomas. Upload Hosea Thomas paperwork. You got more access to anybody in the world. You already got your testimony, your portion deleted from the internet, the whole crispy 4K video. But it's cool. I'm just, y'all know what it is. For those that don't know, I got y'all know y'all sent that to me a gamer gamer ties and I just want to say for the record if for those that don't know I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas when you go into court in a criminal court and it's a trial going on it's two teams it's the prosecution versus the defense it's like the Lakers versus the Celtics Prosecution compiles a team and comes of witnesses and experts and comes to trial with the best team that they feel that they need in order to win. So does the defense. In this particular case, the prosecutor held up the trial for two years because the prosecutor refused to go to trial without Mr. Harris's participation. One team or the other wins in the courtroom. In this case, the prosecution won. The whole team won, wins. There's no such thing as being in the Super Bowl. You could be a guy on the bench who doesn't crack a sweat, get one stain. When your team wins, guess what? You get a ring too. Tip was on the winning team when Hosea Thomas got found guilty for the murder of his partner in the field. He participated. The DA definitely believe it, thanked him, thanked him thoroughly, earnestly, sincerely for everything that he said. Don't let him say what he say and y'all miss it, think I'm hating. He like one of the worst. They said it's going to end times. You're going to have false prophets, preachers, slick tongue, slips. He understand this English vocabulary better than the majority of us. And then he'll just try to, like, say anything and slick it past you. But nah, partner, you didn't sound too good on that last one. That nigga say, if you ain't got no arms, you get kicked. I don't even, if the Crime Stoppers commercial ain't enough, if seeing him on Punk trying to blame the bullets on his boy ain't enough, then y'all just are not capable of reading between the lines. up in court, had to fight a couple of cases. Crackers don't kill when you come in them places. It be written on they face. Some motherfuckers is racist. Fuck trial, shit tricky. Give me the deal. I ain't never seen a real killer be the pill. Shooter got to ride a future if he got a date. Behind the gate, lot of politics to tolerate. Sitting in the car, and spit a cigar. To my niggas on the yard, send my biggest regards. He don't want to run it back, we already ran it. He had the fat on his back, cause I'm heavy handed. Catch another fame, we can follow up. But I ain't waiting all day, nigga. Scrabble up. Gang, gang, got it all bottled up. Gang, 
bangers. Whole world follow us. Evil signs, you believe? Can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind while they lead the blind. Am I wrong? Cause I'm all about me and mine. Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Evil signs, you believe? Can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind while they lead the blind. Am I wrong? Cause I'm all about me and mine. Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Hey, look, niggas clowns need to be in the circus. Putting these buzzes on the turf, they defeating the purpose. The first to return when the enemy serves immediately on E. These weenies be nerve that it came into a section that didn't deserve us. It turned us into murderers and then the deserters. The number one lesson I learned in the pen. When you lose your respect, you can't earn it again. Smoke a lot. Classified, most faded, the love won't be satisfied to all his folks who made it. This cabbage patch where he caught most of the damage at. Perhaps he know a magic plastic the surgeon that can manage that. Ask me, I'm just a product of my habitat. Narcotic habits where they quick to let you have that. Hey, you know me talking about he need half that. I'm laughing at him as if my little bad is having that. Evil signs, you believe? Can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind while they lead the blind. Am I wrong? Cause I'm all about me and mine. Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Evil signs, you believe? Can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind while they lead the blind. Am I wrong? Cause I'm all about me and mine. Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Sniper wasn't that possible. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. Black All Box right. Production. Black Box Production. Black Box Production.